Hey guys, welcome to the stream everyone. A good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, good night. For me it feels like night, but I think it's technically afternoon still. It is uh, 6 p.m., but it's dark outside, it's crazy. Guys, welcome to the stream and a uh, good whatever time it is for you. <laughs> I hope you're all doing great. Let me check my FOV. All right, all looking good. I have a lot of plants in my inventory still. Um, let me take you on a little tour as of uh, what has happened so far. We, uh, we're working on the castle, of course. I'm sure you guys all knew that. And we've we've done a lot. We've done a lot over the last few weeks. Um, the thing we did last stream is right over here. Oh, hang on. Let me fix my NC distance uh, because otherwise we're going to get lag. I was still recording replay mode for the Halloween challenge. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I have a second channel now. Second channel is up and online, and um, I released the first video today. Over the next three days, there's going to be a video every day on that channel. So uh, go check it out if you haven't yet. It is in the pinned comment. We made this frozen cave here, which uh, it isn't much, but it looks pretty cool. And it is a way to carry the pathway from the top of the mountain all the way to the bottom. And that pathway currently brings us over here. Now, this area, this area is really empty. So that is what we're going to work on today. And we're going to make what I think is a tower. But I do have... Oh, there's the thumbnail. I do have I do have something else in mind. I do have an, uh, another idea. But we're just going to start with the framework. And then we're going to see what we're going to do. I did something else in between streams as well. Which is why I have to currently uh, dump all these plants in my inventory. And these blocks. But all the shulkers that we have to go to. They are right here. So let me do that. Let me organize my, uh, my whole bar a little bit. Uh, two, three, four, five. Where's the bow? Six, seven, and hot bars. Okay. In here, I also worked on the garden a little bit more, and this place is starting to come uh, to, to come together. We had the garden upstairs here on top of the castle, but then now we also have plants here on the left, which are really quite cute. We have this scary thing coming out of the ceiling, as well as a bigger one over there. Then we have some uh, some chests with materials here. So let me dump my stuff while we're at it. I'll dump the clay here as well. And then here, we now have uh, these planters. And in the corner, we have clay and some, some drip leaf. So this is starting to look like an actual garden. There's still a lot of room over on this side. So we'll get to that. Video showed up in my recommendo for when you lost our, lost the world. Good luck on continuing this world eclipse. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us as well. I appreciate it. Also, Fire Demon, welcome to the stream. Eggdog is here helping out. We got Sabrina, of course. Oh, you, you hear Eggdog? Let me let me fix that. And fixed. You, you guys get the thumbnail as a break screen today if I do anything else because I didn't uh, tab out of it. We got Saksham as well. Lou, welcome to the stream. Martin Galavoy, OJ, welcome as well. I see Salman. Clancy made it. Starboard Venus. <laughs> Mamate, welcome to the stream as well. Your name is Victor. Welcome to the stream, Victor. Go, Bob. Thank you for the 100 rupees. I ha I was not prepared. Did I have a book? That's a book from last stream. You know what? Let's go land in the Hall of Fame. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do you, some, you guys... Um, I'll give you a present. Because why not? That was a little choppy. I don't quite know why. Healthy Abbots, welcome to the stream as well. Zach Loki, TMK Gaming, welcome to the stream. All right. Um, let's see. This is the book for November first. We're gonna sign that as November first, uh, twenty twenty-two. Sign and close. That goes over here. And then this one is for November third. So that makes three eleven twenty twenty-two. The first one was Go Pop with Go in capital letters. And <laughs> this is still a terrible name, but I ate your cat 54. We got Cameron Stewart. And we got Teddy Boy Bird as a, uh, as a small little gift. Maybe, maybe we'll do a couple of random uh, names later again. Guys, everybody here, thank you very much for being here. Flex, thank you for the 50 Swedish crowns. Okay, guys, let's get to work. Much appreciated, Flexit. 
I'll show you guys what we're up to today, and it starts with snow blocks, as it, as it does so often. And uh, we got snow blocks here. What is in there? Amethyst blocks. Okay, I need to get the snow blocks. Wait, Luke, welcome to the stream as well. Have I heard of Wumba? I have. I saw that you made the parkour spiral in uh, survival. That that looked crazy seeing that in a, in an actual world. Um, oh my god, I got scared by that zombie piglin. Okay, full screen uh, snow block should be up here. I'm gonna take a sugar box, although I think that that should be enough snow blocks. Um, we're gonna leave the light sources for now, and let's get to work. Fifteen hundred and ten days in my hardcore world—that's insane. I used to have, I used to have six thousand, six and a half thousand, but we we did an oopsie, as they as they call it. Well, no, actually, I I majorly messed up. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Suster, welcome to the stream as well. Are you just, why am I not doing the long streams? Um, I feel like I uh, I have better energy if I uh, do uh, somewhat shorter streams. I, I think it makes for better content. Robert, dude, thank you for the two dollars as well. Every day is a holiday with Looney around, dude. That's way too nice. Thank you very much. Let me put you in the book for today as well. Much appreciated. Okay, guys, it is time to get to work. So, let me explain what we're gonna do today. If we come out of this cave, or if we're ready to walk into this cave, this pathway connects to this area on the mountain. Now, this area on the mountain, we've done some terraforming here. You can see that it's one of the very few places where there's uh, something sticking out of the mountain. Now, I've said since the very beginning that I don't really like this shape. Also, it's not that terrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to start building the framework for a building there that's going to connect the pathway, but also it's going to cover that up and look good. It's going to connect to the castle in a way. It doesn't have to physically connect. It just has to uh, thematically be a part of it. And we're just going to start by building some archways, building some foundations, figuring out a shape. And then when we get to a shape that we like, we're going to start putting a lot of ice around it. And then I think that our uh, terraforming issue is kind of going to solve itself because I think that that's going to that's going to disappear the the feeling that it doesn't look great if we uh, build a little more around it. Am I excited for Sinter Clash for now? Everybody always is excited for Sinter Clash for now. This is a very very classic Dutch thing, guys. Whether everybody's always excited is debatable, but it's a bit of a cult classic. All right, I think that will work for an entrance. Now the entrance is gonna basically determine the shape of the entire thing. Um, I'm gonna put a torch on top of there, uh, just so it doesn't spawn mobs while we're away. Nina, did we finish the ice cave? We did. We did. Let me let me show you guys. Oh, I was gonna fly up to the top, but we can actually enter from here. What is that? What we just what we just made is um, an archway, a uh, foundation for the building. Ice cave is uh, is right here. It's still pretty simple. I haven't put a lot of details in it, but it's definitely a cave. We can definitely walk up there. It's also spawn proof, which is not bad. And um, as far as I know, it's spawn proof. And it makes it so that we get a way to get to the top of the mountain without actually having to fly, which uh, was a bit of a an issue with my uh, season one world. Wild Wolf, thank you for the 40 rupees as well. You, you guys are way too nice. Hey man, love your videos. Want to be a YouTuber also? Start uploading, start uploading. It doesn't have to be good right away. Just try to make it a little bit better each time. And Charlotte Brecken with three pounds. Guys, we, we, gotta, we gotta play Minecraft. I got me typing all stream. Thank you very much, Charlotte. I appreciate it. <laughs> that that lemon in the super sticker is way too cool. Hello, and welcome to the stream as well. Okay, now this, as I said, is going to be tricky. So what we're going to need for sure is we're going to need an entrance here. And I want to have that pathway be three blocks wide everywhere. Because I think it will look nice if we um, have that a little bit consistent. Okay, wait, let me wreck these phantoms. One more. And last one. Shot him, got him. Except for the shot him part. Oh, there's what? How, how are there five? This was multiple waves of phantoms. Do I speak Mandarin Chinese? I do not. 
I do not. I've been to uh, to China a few times, but I had to uh, make do with the the English that I had available and the English that people there had available. But it worked. It, it, it were some really really good times, special adventures. Okay, so if we go through that three wide entrance, uh, we're gonna have to make this go out there. We'll use the same pattern for the top. I'll also put a torch on here so it doesn't spawn moths. Now this is the part where we're um, basically... This is decided for us. That it has to look like this. I don't hate that. I, I think that can actually work. Let's take a minute to uh, fly around. Martin, you're gonna go to the end in your 170 day hardcore world. Any advice not to die? The biggest thing, the biggest thing you have to consider is uh, try to get slow falling spot, uh, slow falling potions. That could literally save your life so easy. Go pop! Thank you for another 60 rupees. Do I know any Indian gaming YouTubers I like? It's um, it's difficult because I don't understand the language. But I, uh, I used to hang out with, um, with an Indian YouTuber quite a bit. Okay, I think, I think this works. And then Triggered Insan raided us, of course, which is crazy. Guys, there's an issue with this uh, archway. <laughs> that was so smooth. There's an issue with this archway. I think if I stand up here, I can show you what the, what the problem is, because... It is, qu oh, it is quite a problem. So, did I dye my hair just before stream? Yeah. So this this pathway right here, it goes into the tower, right? If, if it is a tower. Now, this one, this one goes out of the tower and it goes this way. So that would imply that the building is there. And that's, that's kind of crazy. I don't know if we can do that. We could, but it's going to be quite a different build from what I had in mind. Oh my goodness. Tom Gamma, a member for 25 months. Imagine not having the 24 months match next to your name. Anyway, I win the race. Guys, this is true. This is true. Tom Tom does win the race. Tom is a... Tom is the first channel member. Now in 25 months, according to... YouTube. Someone's been counting the days, so I think it's 24 and uh, the next month started today, labeling as 25. And that, that's actually crazy. Tom, GG's dude, thank you for being here for the entirety of the journey. It's crazy. And congratulations on your uh, on your own YouTube videos doing well lately. That's awesome. Flex, thank you for another 50 as well. I think we're gonna try it, guys. We're gonna do something crazy. Let me, uh, let me build a little outline. Should maybe make it a thing. <laughs> Flex, you really don't have to. I appreciate the support, though. But absolutely not necessary. Just being here, hanging out. All the support I could ask for. And I appreciate it. Oh! Okay, we got hit once. I don't I don't know if this is going to be out of control design-wise. I'm, I'm going to try it anyway. Um, let's get rid of the pickaxe for a second. Where is he? Okay, let's go out to the side and around here. <laughs> Such a thank you. You guys, you guys are too nice. Badge looking good. So it, it looks really good. It's got a cool contrast with the um, with the green name as well. I don't know if this is too extreme, but. If we use the ice pillars, we could definitely make it look supported. Now, I don't want to put torches on here because um, it might be too close to spawn to snow layers and melt them. You know what? If we take the spots furthest out, we should be fine. Okay, still it is a little bit tricky. With the way this works. Like support in all the ways you can. Much appreciate it. Give it, to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. 
So this would go into the building. Now that other one is underneath, of course. Guys, I think there's a better way to do this. There's a better way to do this than going all the way out. So let's remove the temporary blocks, try again. This is why temporary blocks are so important. And that is also why, among many other reasons, snow is the best block in the game. Spread the word. Everybody needs to know. Okay. That works. Um, let's see what happens if we kind of uh, bridge off of the side of this tower. So let's imagine this shape for the building quite differently. That goes two out from the side. Then it goes three out this way. Uh, then that was four. And then that is a straight line. Was it four? Yes, it was four. Okay, that shape is the same on both sides. I think that could work as a foundation. Clancy loved the videos, even if I've only been watching for two weeks. Dude, thank you for joining this adventure. I appreciate it. And welcome. Okay, what if we do this? Let's, let's try it on one side. What are we building? Okay, let, let's do the quick fly around. Guys, if you just got here, we are working on, uh, on the castle on the mountain. Now, my season one world had one big problem, and that problem was that you couldn't really walk anywhere. You could only, uh, you could only fly there. So we need to fix that for this season, and we need to fix it early because if season one taught us anything, it is you never know when you die in your hardcore world. So we made a pathway that goes all the way from the top of the castle all the way down. So if we have some decent flying skills, we should technically be able to fly through this ice cave and get out the bottom here. I got, I got, I got decent flying skills. It's, it's unbelievable. How, how did that work? Okay, so then right here, this pathway curves around this way. But if it's just going to be a pathway, I think it's going to be a little bit too boring. So what we need here is something to, uh, to kind of spice up this side of the castle because also if we look up from here it's not the best side of the castle it's, it's actually not bad um but well long story short i, I want to have something here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a tower and that tower has a few prerequisites and that's what we're trying to figure out now so there has to be a pathway that goes in here then the basement of the tower can extend as far downwards as we want but it has to end up going out of this so step two is we are gonna make make that work <laughs> oh my whoa 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 panda gamer sorry was here the last time you made the nether base what did you miss as in the nether hub that's a long time ago man Th thank you for joining us today i appreciate it um we're on a we're on a whole different world i died in the old one so we're now about 1500 days in after dying around day 6500. I think it was 6560 from the top of my mind. Oh, you know? Well, we're, we're making a new base that is going to be the foundation for this next season. And uh, this base should be everything. So we have all the industry under the base. And now we're making sure that from the top it looks good. I think this works. We can have a, a little bit of a hallway here. And it actually doesn't have to go that far around. It could carve back, I think, there. That makes sense. Why do I only have 69 levels in the entire movie and now as well? Um, if, if you stay around for a little bit and you're uh, you're going to be here for, let, let's say, an, half an hour, I think you're going to see what happens if we, uh, if we get to level 70. I, I just bring it back down always. Because the level 69 got kind of iconic. Guys, I think this works. So imagine we have a basement to this tower. A little pathway that goes around here. And then connects to here. 
So then we have basically we have the pathway. It carves around this corner and goes to here, and then it continues down the mountain as we planned it. So that will work. And then there's also the option to go up into whatever this structure is going to be from right around here. So here, this pathway is going to split. Probably we'll have a room here where it connects to, and then a, a staircase down, and it connects there again. Does that make sense to everyone? I think we can do this, right? This, this should work. Um, then, let's go off of that shape that we have and see what kind of building we want to make. I think if we have a little bit of a... Um, basement type thing going out here it would be cool to have a roof on that maybe make a balcony on the top of the tower i don't even know how high we want to go yet now there is another idea i had today guys and maybe we should uh maybe we should address that one for a second the alternative plan for this build like i, I was thinking of a tower initially but we could also have an observatory on the side now the question is if it's big enough to have that dome shaped roof on it and to be honest, I'm not quite sure. I think I think it would be very... Um, it's going to feel cramped. Yeah, let's stick with a tower. Maybe like a tower from Frozen. This is still crazy, but I don't have I don't have that in mind. Because I um I actually I've, I've never seen Frozen, guys. I know it's ridiculous, but here we are. What castle do I like better? This castle or the Nether Hub from Season 1? I think they are very, very different projects. And they're very different projects because um, the Nether Hub was basically still empty on the inside. And here we're already starting to decorate it. And I think that adds a lot of character to it. Okay, I want to I wanna try something extreme. I want to see what, what happens if we make this roof go even steeper. And this is usually the steepest roof I use. Alright, let's see. Two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Do we want to have a two wide center on that or a one wide center? I'm thinking it might be flexed with another 30 Swedish crowd. Thank you. Did not have to do it. Said it before. I will say it again, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. One wide. I think I think you guys are right. Ow. I just fell down my own mountain. Three always looks better. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't always agree. Two wide roofs are fine. I'm a little careful with my shovel here because it's really easy to uh, destroy too much terrain. Just to be annoying, three. <laughs> to just to be annoying mentality. <laughs> All right, that's four as well. All right, that works. Where did I get all the snow from? Guys, let, let's uh, let's do a quick tour. Let's do a quick tour as to where all the snow comes from. Ryan, you're a friend of Tanner's. Say hi to him if you talk to him. Give him my regards. Generic house would probably have two. I've I've made roofs with both one or uh, or two wide centers. They both work. Rotator cell. I'm I'm not quite sure, but it, it sounds like um uh like your mob cap is full for whatever reason. Are you playing on a server? Trip to the chatter say graveyard. Guys, I still haven't made the inside of the snow farm. 
It still has no center or uh, no interior, which basically means that my entire movie is a scam <laughs> because I made something that wasn't in the world for the story to be completed. Boo, Looney sucks, cheater. <laughs> all right, let me let me show you where all the snow comes from. Um, this is where all the snow comes from. And then if you do this, F3 and T, you can uh, let your hands off the keyboard and it saves your input. It, it believes that it's still doing the thing and it starts getting more snow. We're not going to be here for all too long, but let's fill up my inventory and uh, meanwhile, I'll uh, reach out for a bit. <laughs> Scam! <laughs> Is even Nightball calling me out now? That, that That's just rough. No no server to your survival world? I'm not quite sure, uh, Rotator. Snow Farm is the Season 1 Nether Castle in Season 2. Sort of, kind of. Boo! <laughs> some Firestar, welcome. Willem, welcome to the stream. Alright, alright, alright. Let's, um, let's craft these up. Because we can't be shoveling snow all day. We got work to do. But for all of you who are curious where the snow came from... Oh my god! <laughs> my mom's he calling me out on scamming behavior. Guys, this is my actual mom. Be being triggered by me scamming. The, the, the mom, you, you don't, she, she, I don't. I don't think she gets the contact. This is bad. This is bad. All right, let's seal this off again. <laughs> is he scamming? <laughs> Favorite comment. <laughs> boo, loony boo. Electroignition is Shatterstone's castle connected to the uh, other part of the world. It's quite nearby and it is sort of connected by all the snow here, but there's not a pathway there. <laughs> I just look over to chat and I see boo everywhere. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, let's get back to building. Guys, realize that this entire area where we are right now looks like a cold biome. But never forget that this is actually a swamp. And all of the that cold feel, everything, is uh, stuff we've made. Okay, this roof is going to be here for a second as a reference. Looney knows he's messed up when his mom is calling him a scammer. Fact. Fact. <laughs> That's when you know you're way out of line. Okay, let's um... Let's see what happens if we go up by six. Beautiful work, man. Thank you, Thomas. I appreciate it. What 1.20 feature am I looking forward to? I just I just really like that there's gradual, gradually new stuff coming into the game, but never a huge overload of new features. For for 120, I, I love the way that the camels sit sit down and stand up. That looks crazy. Also the bookshelves, they almost seem like they're made for my world because we need to organize the library. When will I put some time for the snowman? I, I feel like we have to do a stream where I um I just we look at the movie together at that scene. And then I have to try and build the interior from, from memory and see if I can do it because I have no idea. Phantom's coming in hot. Ow. And Project 2, eventually, I'm sure, but for now, we're uh, very overworld-based. Timing for that one was awkward. Snow! <laughs> Did somebody ask it? <laughs> I didn't even see it. Did somebody ask what my favorite block was? One, two, three, four, five. Wes, well, welcome to the stream.
I'm not sure I want to um, build too big down there. Where are the phantoms? Okay, I got one. I'll take it. Oh. Can we get clean... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, can we get clear weather? And then it cleared up. That's cool. Where are these phantoms? We got one there. All right. I think we do the inside layer here. I see a creeper down there. That's not good. Lil Sora, welcome to the stream to May. Robo, welcome to the stream as well. How am I doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Hope you're doing good yourself. Do you have some tips for building in a har harbor city? Same as everywhere else. Just take your time to do the frameworking, what we're doing right now. If you take your time to get this right, everything becomes easier. I'm trying to visualize what we're gonna do here. Hang on, let me let me pause for a second. F3 and escape does this, by the way, guys. Um, no, I don't like the angle. Can't really uh, see what we're doing. Okay, this is better. So we we got a roof over here. It's gonna go into there. I think we actually can go a little bit higher. It won't be a problem. Let's see if I agree with that thought from any um, any other angle as well. Yeah, I'm fine with building it a little bit bigger. Hannes, welcome to the stream as well. Espresso, did you actually do <laughs> that? Castle said as a joke. No, I did it. Like I, I, as I said, I haven't seen Frozen, but it is it is definitely uh, very cold, and it is a castle. Maybe we can't see well because snow on snow is a bit snowy. This is true. This is true. Temporary blocks, guys. We did it for the for the uh, windmill as well, and it worked so well to outline the entire thing before. Okay, definitely gonna look crazy. Definitely still on board with it too. Yeti climbing on the mountain. I don't, I haven't made up my mind yet whether I want to build creatures into the world or not. I heard phantoms again. That one should be dead. Yeah, there we go. Uh, one more here. Creeper? Yeah, there must be creepers under us. I, I can't imagine there's, there's not because these are the only spawnable blocks in the area now. We need a new mascot after Gerald. Maybe, maybe, maybe at some point. We should have replay mode for this. That would be good. <laughs> just saying tower with the evil smile. <laughs> P, welcome to the stream as well. Hope you're doing good. Who here saw the saw the Lunier video? The one on my second channel. 
It's been on top of the stream if you haven't seen it yet, but who watched it already? Fab, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Is this a new song? Nah, this one's been in there forever. Oh, poor flying. Oh, a bunch of you have seen it. Nice. I had the thought to, um, so basically what their video is, is we wanted to see if we can record and make videos in a single day for a miniseries. And uh, I think the first one turned out really, really well. We had a couple days buffer to make sure that we're actually able to pull it off. But the entire miniseries is, uh, is done on my part. My uh, editor is finishing up the last couple things because he started a, a few days later than I started, clearly. But I was really happy with it. And then the entire recording for all of it, we're going to use that for a proper 100 days video. But those take a little, little more work, of course. All right. Um, now I think, and this, this is going to be tricky, but I think we're going to be able to do something cool here. What if we make all of these into really small towers? During COVID, why did I choose YouTube over any other job? Um, well, for starters, it was online, which was a, a big requirement because everything offline wasn't working the way it was supposed to, I feel like. Oh yeah, that could be really cool. How did I make the castle look so unique? Yours keep looking ordinary. I think, guys, the uh, the key to building things that look more um, look more unique is this is gonna sound contradictory, but <laughs> I promise it makes sense. So I think to make things look more unique, what you do is you start more simple, and basically what we're that's what we're doing right now, because I could already make a uh, really complicated gatehouse on the bottom. I could be working with stairs now and putting them upside down, putting walls on it, making the windows look really nice here. But I think if you look for the shape first, you have a lot more freedom to make crazy, crazy shapes um, like we're doing now, because none of this actually makes a lot of sense shape wise. But we get to experiment with it and see if we like it before we made up, make up our mind whether it's a final shape or not. And I think that helps a lot. Oh my god, I'm falling through this foundation all the time. Because usually what buildings are, guys, no matter how complicated they look when they're done, they're a combination of really simple shapes. So just find an interesting combination of simple shapes and then start filling it in. Can I show you guys the castle? Definitely, definitely. We can, uh, we can do a quick tour in a minute. Can I get up there? That will do it. Okay, so what I think we're going to do is rather than having one cone roof like this, uh, we'll have a uh, very funky combination of a couple of small ones. And I think that's going to make this tower look quite unique. I think the height is fine. I don't want to go much higher than I am right now. And we'll, we might add a couple more of those uh, wonky towers from the bottom. But I think we're going to start building from the bottom up. Okay, quick uh, quick castle tour. Uh, show the interior. There's not much interior to it. We'll we'll get to the like main entrance because we're still building it. Now, guys, if you're if you're here for the first time or one of the first times, uh, let me actually show you what we're building. So this entire area here, you can see that this is a swamp. This snowy area is also a swamp, except for we removed it. Um, so if you fly in here, this is where my industrial area for the main base is going to be. And there's a, lo a lot of farms already. Uh, we have a creeper, spider farm, sugarcane, pumpkins, melon, sheep, bees, trees, uh, bone meal, villager trades, witch farms, a sugar farm, all sorts of stuff. And we're adding more to it. And this area is where all the industry is going to go. But we don't have it out in the open, so it doesn't look ugly. Um, that That's the main thing. And uh, 
then after this, we started building the castle because I want to have a base that looks cool first and foremost. And then we'll build the farms that we need rather than build all the farms. Is it planned that you bring the towers down so that it looks like it integrated into the mountain? Um, next, I don't think so, but uh, bear with me and you'll find out. Now, here inside of the castle, guys, you still see that there's a lot of snow floors, which snow is temporary. Um, unless it's a mountain, snow is temporary. One sec. That was a serious sneeze that <laughs> took me in my microphone for. It was a good one. I think there's another one brewing. All right. Um, then there is some area of the... <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. There is some area of the castle that I have already decorated. You can see that there's some outside decoration here uh, and also some missing parts. There's still snow blocks here. Uh, but then if we go this way... The area where we've done most is at the castle gardens. And by the end of the project, I want all the interior to be as decorated and as detailed as this place. But this place is starting to look cool. And then there's a staircase going down into the inside and the garden continues. And there's different um, displays with different plants, different flowers. Uh, still working on that. It's not entirely done, but this is the most detailed area that we have so far. And there are some other other places like uh, the village over there and the um, starter house further down that way. But today we're working on more castle building. <laughs> At least you do the back. <laughs> but I, I fully support Gria not putting uh, backsides into the into the projects because it makes, the, makes it so that he has more time for the front. So it starts looking better. But I do like building a world where you can actually fly around rather than uh, work from the front. Um, okay, I think this part looks good. Now, there is... There are a few ways that we could approach this. Um, the first question is, what kind of building blocks are we going to use for this? And I think we have to work in a similar style as the castle. Although it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Um, there's another question about how do we support the bottom of this building. Because right now you can see that on this side it's overhanging, on this side it's overhanging. I think we should start with building the bottom floor or the basement part of it. And then we uh, we have a solid foundation where we can see what we're gonna need to connect up to it to, to properly support it. So I think we start with a floor. Now, I've really, really, really been digging the mud bricks. Um, and we have some left over here. So let's start with a simple floor. And then we'll take it from there. Alright. Um, I think this goes down one lower. Elf asks if you get invited to Hermitcraft Season 10, would you join? And would you, if so, would you stop streaming the Hardcore World as much? I don't think that's uh, something we have to worry about, guys. Hermitcraft has been doing as well as it has for as long as it has. Uh, because they're really, really careful in uh, adding new new players. I think that's a great thing about Hermitcraft. Um, so, I think Looney and Hermitcraft is not a thing we're going to see. And I'm, I'm fully okay with that. I do look forward to eventually uh, play with other creators as well and create with other creators because it's not just about playing. But for right now, I feel like uh, I feel like I got a chip on my shoulder. I lost a really cool hardcore world, so we gotta bring it back. And I'm really excited to be doing just that. Okay, this is I think where the outside is. Okay, now this one is interesting because we need it to, uh, to come up here. I think that will do. Should be enough. 
And then right around here, we need a staircase that goes down and brings it around the side. I think we should just build that as well. It's still daytime, so we're fine, but not for much longer. I really, really like this song. It's been growing on me for, for a while now. Alright. So we got all that stuff. We're, we're gonna have to um, eventually put torches down here as well. The sound for mud is so weird though. Oh wait, I think we need to go more out towards the corner here. I think it's this and then remove this one. What is the song's name? I was like a second too late to see it. Who I like, Justin Bieber. I, I think he's made some great records. Alright, that goes over there. Fire Demon, see you later, dude. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it. I don't know if I, um... If I actually do like the mud bricks, <laughs> Justin Bieber, <laughs> that's different. <laughs> that sounds like a cartoon. Do I study and if so, where? I, I finished university a couple years ago. I think we get these out of here. Opinions on this chiseled bookshelf. So excited for those. I think they're a great addition. I'm so expecting mobs to spawn here. I, I really need to put a torch. Are you wrecked, Echo? <laughs> Best blocks on the game confirmed. Are these fans? Oh, yes, these fans are gonna come down. Uh, this is so annoying if they get stuck in the frameworking and they they don't find their way down. Because the worst part of the phantom, guys. What is, what is the worst part of phantoms? You guys should know this. It's pretty obvious. Was my snow my favorite block before this hardcore world? No. <laughs> no, I didn't know either. We, I had to learn. This, you, you has it right. You has it right. It, it's definitely the screaming. It's not everything. They're fine. Finding them in the air is really fun. They're kind of cool, I like the way they look, but my god, the sound is awful. That they exist? No, not that they exist. Phantoms got a bad rap, they're pretty cool. But the screaming though. Okay, this is cool, we can have something in the middle that's decorative, that will work. It's definitely supportable. What time is it at my place? It is uh, almost 7 p.m. Okay, now we need a block to go around the side. I have an idea. Let's fly to the starter house real quick.
which sports do I play? Now nowadays I, I just go to the gym, but I, I've uh, done lots of different sports. <laughs> oh my god, Clancy. <laughs> That's pretty serious. Are you drinking apple teeny? I wish. No, <laughs> it's water. Um, let's see. I need, I think I need basalt. Do I prefer smite or sharpness? I'm I'm a uh, convinced supporter of Team Smite. I think it's es especially because of the phantoms. Without with the phantoms, you can't go without smite. It's it's just too stupid. Um. Oh, this is, this is annoying. There's this one block that we don't really have access to right now. We're, we're gonna we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to go and get it. Even if it's just a little bit. Um, before we do that, though, I want to have uh, more golden carrots, and I think we have a villager in the house that has them. Guys, the incredible display. This piston is the only reason I still have this hardcore world, which is stupid. If you, if you don't know why, please go watch that two-hour movie I made. Find time to do it. I promise I would never pitch a two-hour video to you guys if I wasn't absolutely sure that you were going to enjoy it. That, that video is something else, and it explains a lot about how this world happened. Also, why that piston is the only reason that we have it. Um... I need to go to the uh, to the nether right now. Oh, let's say hi to Starry Potter. Starry, how you do? I forgot that he's upside down. Th that's disturbing. Let's go. Fire King, welcome to the stream. Grim Reaper, welcome as well. Daniel, welcome. Guys, all the all the reactions about the movie they uh, they mean the world to me. That that was uh. That was the most crazy passion project. And it's it's really cool that you guys have enjoyed it so much. Will I be doing another movie for 2000 days? You, you guys want to hear something absolutely crazy? I am... Um, I've already written most of it for 2000 days. Even though we're only on day 1500. And that doesn't mean that everything else is pre-planned. It just means that ever since I started YouTube, um, starting a YouTube channel is a journey. And when you get into that, you have no idea what it's going to be like. And while you're uh, while you're on that journey, and I think that if you talk to lots of different creators, and um. You say what I what I'm saying now. You say that to them. They're gonna just tell you that it makes so much sense because I think everybody goes through similar things. Um, as you go on that journey of becoming a YouTuber, you uh, you start learning how important uh, stories are, and you start learning that in the end, the only reason that people watch YouTube videos is that they care about those stories. And as you go along with that journey, you learn more and more about it. And you start to feel more at home as a storyteller. You start to realize that you have to be a storyteller. And for me now, I feel like I'm starting to understand that. And I'm starting to uh, remember it because sometimes you forget it a little bit. You, you get caught up in the everyday routine of trying to make videos. Um, but I, I've never had anywhere close to the amount of creative control over those stories. As I have right now, and that's a crazy, crazy feeling. So for the first time ever, I'm like, um, I'm not running behind my content trying to do my best, but I'm riding out in front of it, and that's that's super cool. So I'm really, really excited for the 2000 day movie. Before that, you guys are gonna get a shorter version of the 1000 days for those of you who uh, aren't into watching two hour videos, and we've done a lot of that as well. We're actually supposed to release that one before the long movie. But then, as we were finishing up production, I felt like the movie was so much better than a shorter version uh, that it didn't really make sense to release a shorter version first. We were like, okay, that one needs more time because that story, it's a cool story, but it's not very well told. So let's fix that. 
Sky Falcon, welcome to the stream. Chrome can I make a super flat series with no structures? Oh, I've, I'm loving that series. Uh, both of the series that I've seen by Jaren and, and Mogswamp, I really, really love them. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do super, super flat just because I'm... Like, I have so many plans for this hardcore world that I want to see those through. So I'm going to just focus up on this. Also, by the time we get to the end of the things that I've planned right now, uh, I think we're going to... We're going to turn into a really cool direction and I want to get there. So uh, we'll be putting in the work. Okay, let's... Uh, I think that should do it. Grandma Special Boy. What, what a name. Welcome to the stream. I'm doing good. I hope you are too. Um, let, let's see if I can... Uh, yes, I do have a stone cutter. How does it feel knowing that this Minecraft world will end one day? It's it's a it's a weird thing. It's um it's kind of cool and at the same time it's kind of sad, I guess. It's it, those two exist within the same space. The cool thing about it is that if the if a world never died, there's no um there's no natural ending to it. And the natural ending is kind of cool. Like when season 1 ended, I was I was bummed out. I was like, yeah, I wasn't ready for that. That that's sad. Um, at the same time, I've really been enjoying season two, and it wouldn't have existed if season one didn't end one day. Also, I feel like it's a natural part of life that things aren't forever, and it's um, th that's not necessarily a bad thing. So I I feel like if you want to do hardcore, be okay with that. It's gonna end before you even start it. That's probably the most important thing. Okay, let's get rid of this one and rid of that one. Um, these are actually never going to be inside, so we might as well go and do this. And then under there, we have a uh, different challenge. So maybe we do this. Don't make that one. This is a little goofy because we um, we put that floor there first. Oh, let me switch my helmet. Big tower? Yeah, I think this, this one's going to be cool. I have a good feeling about it. I do like the idea of using spruce for it, so let's go get some. Well, here, what are we building? We're building a, a tower, and a tower is pretty important because that tower runs through the um, uh, the pathway runs through it. The, pa the pathway to get up to the castle from down below. Let me just put these here temporarily. Talon, welcome to the stream. Myra, welcome as well. Treven, glad you could make it. And Sky Falcon as well. I hope you guys are all doing good. I can place that from any angle, of course. It needs to be there. Quite well, nice. All right, let's take that one off of the end. Eggdog, dude, thank you very much for being here. And hi, Eric. Okay, I think we're going to build a similar framework on the other side. Although, I don't know if there's going to be a gate there. 
Maybe we don't build it yet? Mr. F, how do I not lose motivation to play Minecraft? I like nothing more than making things. And that makes life pretty simple. I'm not quite... Trivan, thank you very much for the two euros. I appreciate it. Let me uh, quickly copy your name because it has the symbols that I don't... <laughs> No, we can't. We don't need to put the 199 in there. Dude, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Kira, welcome to the stream as well. I think we just have to build up the standard walls. If we don't do that, this is going to be messy the entire way through. Let's start with that. All right, let's see. I need to organize my stuff for a second, guys. Is this one relatively open? Let me grab an extra shulker box real quick. Kelvin, when do I sleep? Usually pretty late. A lot of the time I'll be up till uh, like 2 a.m. Maurice Aspeling with the seven South African rent. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let me uh, put you in this book as a small thank you. Thank you very much for support. Also, guys, please don't ever feel bad if you uh, can't or don't want to donate. Because it's not expected. It's not necessary. It's crazy that people do it. And if that is you, thank you very much. But also, you guys being here is everything. Okay, we're definitely going to need the ice. Um... I feel like I have a shovel here with me that I really don't need. That's a snow farm shovel. Let's dump some of this wood. Some of this mud. Generally, I'm just carrying a lot of stuff that I don't need. But at the same time, not that much. I just have a lot of stuff in my inventory. So, welcome to the stream. Let's see. Um, I need cobblestone for sure. I think we need to grab that stuff from the castle because it's there. We've used it for the walls there. Oh, shulker box is what I said. Kelvin, is this 1.19? It is. Yes. Okay, I can't get in there. Let me just run through here. 69,000 snow block and snow layer. There's the shulker box we needed. Am I going to make any content that is not Minecraft? Maybe second channel and uh, further down the line, like a couple of years from now, definitely yes. But I'm not in any rush. DJ Gamer, why did I wear diamond leggings in the nether in season one? It's actually a good question. It's because right now I have blast protection on my helmet. And uh, in the nether, I want fire protection on there. So it's on my golden helmet. In season one, I had that on my leggings. So I switched them out, and the reason that I wore diamonds rather than netherite was to make sure that I had the right ones on, and I could see it in F5, like this. Alright, let's see. We need... Flexa, come on! Thank you for another 100 Swedish crowds. You've been doing so much, it's crazy. Okay, this should be enough to get the wall started. Trias, please give a world tour. Uh, give me a couple minutes. We'll uh, build up the foundation for this house or this tower. And then I'm uh, definitely willing to go on a quick tour because the world is pretty compact so we can get everywhere rather quickly. Look at us using cobblestone. 1500 days in. It's just a valid building block. Don't hate it. It's 2 a.m. Uh, 0, 02 or 14. It's uh, uh, 0, 02. So it's 2 at night. Going to bed 2 in the afternoon sounds uh, pretty wild.
Doing Roblox, am I seriously going to make Season 2 World crazier than Season 1? No doubt. It's the only way. Okay, I can see this working. This is good. Um, we do need more... We need diorite in there. And we need... What's that other one? Polish diorite in there. What is this tower for? It is a fancy way... Of hiding away the uh, what do you do we call that uh, the pathway this pathway goes all the way from the bottom of the mountain to the top but we need a way to have it be there without looking like it shouldn't shouldn't be there okay I think we're gonna this is this one's tricky but I think we just just do this and then we'll build the frame one out to the front and maybe we should just do that. Or at least the foundation for it. So let's do this. Just so it's easy to find that spot. Oh my god. These fences are so rough. Come on, you're able to pathfind. You can do it. You can do it. He could actually do it. Nice. He needs a little assistance, this one. Okay, got him. Okay, I don't quite know if this, uh, this is going to work well, but let's just try it. Is editing videos hard to learn? Um, I think you can learn everything if you really want to. It very much depends on whether you're uh, intrinsically motivated to actually go and do it. Video editing is one of the most time-consuming things I have ever done, and I'm quite sure I ever will do. It takes like a... Even, even when you get experience as an editor, I think it is fair to assume that about 30 seconds of content can take a little over an hour to edit, on average. And just imagine how many hours go into a two-hour movie, if that's the uh, page you're working at. And sure, you can do it quicker, but it just... You have to re... You have to check your own work a lot, which means you have to watch your videos. And it just takes time. So, if you have the patience for it, you can definitely learn it. Okay, let's go out to the side. Editing takes way too much time. It doesn't take too much time, it just takes a little time. But I also, like, since the very beginning of me editing videos, I've always said, if people ask me tips on editing, that it's pretty simple, because... Uh, I've, I've always said that the secret ingredient to a good edit is time. And that is... You can see that as something very intense. You can also see it as something quite... Um, let, let's see, how, how, do, how do I say this properly? Quite reassuring in a way. Because if you just put more time in your edit, it's eventually it's going to get better. So then, what you have to do is pretty simple, is just put in the time. Oh, we definitely need that one back. Sit at your desk, don't don't go anywhere, and eventually your edit become good. Okay, so far so good. Nightbolt's kind of annoying. Nightbolt is also the only reason that I can, can read what you guys are saying, Myra. Otherwise, uh, chat abuse is insane, and it makes it that nothing is uh, noticeable anymore. So, thank Nightball for keeping chat accessible for all of you guys.
Um, that one might actually have to come in by one. Let me check that from the outside. Yeah, I think that makes sense. <laughs> Thanks, Nightbot. <laughs> Nikolai, you got it. <laughs> I will ask, can you see Dome Tower from my house? I think you can, can see Dome Tower from everywhere in the city I live in. Alright, that works. Nishin, you have an exam tomorrow? Best of luck. I hope it goes well. If you did the work studying, you should be fine. I believe in you. Okay, I think for this one, I want to work with the spruce supports a little bit more. Let me get to a spot where it's, which is easily accessible for the phantoms. But oh, the second one got the timing perfectly right. I saw a creeper. I saw a creeper. <laughs> Got him. Looney, do you vape? No. Okay, let's um build these support towers up a little bit. Or support pillars. Oh my god, more phantoms? Leave me alone, guys. I'm trying to get some work done. Nine company, I don't use F3? Correct, correct. Got that from Uraf. I saw him do it on Legacy SMP. And um, he, he uh, started something called the Pathfinders Guild. So then I sent him a message and I asked him if um, the Pathfinders Guild, which then only existed on the Legacy SMP, which Legacy SMP doesn't run anymore, they stopped it. Um, but Legacy was really cool. And uh, on Legacy, he started a Pathfinders Guild where people could join if they wouldn't press F3 anymore. So I sent Orav an, uh, a message asking if he would accept applications from Parallel Universe affiliates. And he, he did. Um, so then I, I, I became a Pathfinder. I've been a Pathfinder for a while now. And uh, now I'm, I'm even an official representative for the guild, which is not a cult. Although people do get it confused sometimes. I'll, I'll talk about the Pathfinder Guild in a future video more. Because right now it's a little confusing. It's a little confusing on purpose because it takes a while to explain. So I wanted to have the right moment to do it. I feel like it could be a huge sidetrack in a video if it isn't properly introduced. Connor, dude, thank you for the $10. I appreciate it. Bit late to stream. What are you doing and how have you been? <laughs> I got wrecked by the Phantom because I tried to read and, and, and hit it at the same time. It did not work. Um, We're working on the... Uh, outside area around the castle and we're actually making sure that the pathway goes all the way around in a way that makes sense uh, i'll show you uh, what we've done so far connor dude thank you for the ten dollars and uh, that goes into the book as a small thank you i feel like the nights are very long guys is this, is this a thing oh wait that's not where that pillar is that's where that pillar is Is that just me, or, or do the nights seem longer than the days right now? It's definitely just me, but it really feels like that. Okay, I don't think that the spruce goes any higher than this level where we are right now. Let me check that. Yeah, I think that makes sense. It's only you. <laughs> Kara just full on wrecked me. Okay, okay, I see. I see what it is. Oh, I thought I had that one. Oh my god, those were all so close.
<laughs> Did you guys see me physically dodge the Phantom? Whew. That was close. This is why I don't hate Phantoms. The aerial fights are super fun. But they do get a little annoying during building. Okay, for those of you who just got here, let me uh, quickly show you what we're up to and why we're building a tower here. Because that seems like it doesn't really make sense, but it does. It does make sense. Over this way, we have the uh, entrance to the castle. This is the gate. Currently, the pathway here is unsupported. But there's a pathway, and that's the start. Now, if we go down here, over the last two streams, we actually made the pathway make sense in this area. Because right here, we have a... Uh, Oh my god, it's not spawn-proof in here. Hang on, we need to check why that creeper spawned there. I'm guessing this corner is a candidate. So there's, there's a couple spots where this is still tricky. I'll investigate it later. But this cave uh, runs the pathway all the way down here. But then it comes out the side here and it needs to go in here around this part of the mountain and then it continues going down here now for that to make sense we needed some sort of a building here um so i think we're building a uh, cool tower on the outside flex it rocket league maybe play someday i'll uh, i'll organize a rocket league tournament at one point I i've done it a few times uh, before not anytime soon though uh, because the hardcore grind is real right now. I don't think... I don't think we need to... I'm not too sure about the spruce. I really like it for the colors. But maybe we need something that looks a little bit sturdier. Sabrina, it is not. What version was Season 1? It started on 115 and it ended on... 118. Okay, let's continue building the wall. I think this uh, lower area, we can work with the same wall structure blocks. Um, so that means we need diorite, polished diorite. That can be all the polished diorite we have left in our inventory. Okay, let me get some new ones. Voice is relaxing. <laughs> Thank you. Castle Garden is one of my favorite spots right now. This is so cool. Okay, we need this. This is exactly one stack. I think we're gonna... No, we're not gonna use that many. Um, there. <laughs> Fire Demon has been a vibe the entire way. Jacob no just started a new hardcore world after losing a world over 1k days to a death. Oh, not to a death, but a glitch. Having trouble getting motivation only 20 days in? Oh, just give it some time. I think, Jacob, the, the thing that helped me most with this world and bouncing back... Let me actually fly uh, fly out for a second, guys, because this is uh, worth mentioning. The thing that helped me most in enjoying this world is that I took the time to build the starter house over here. I think we worked on this for like a solid 30 to 40 days, just building this thing. For no real reason other than having a cool place to come back to, which felt enjoyable. And the fact that we did there has helped so much in enjoying the world early on. It made it exciting from the beginning. Leo, nice hair. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Nether up eventually, sure, but not anytime soon. We're pretty overworld focused for a uh, foreseeable future. Okay, this ring of snow here, I'm going to leave it because we're going to still use it. Um, I think we built this. Flexo with another 50. Thank you so much for all the support. See you next stream. Thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. Support's crazy. I appreciate it a lot. Okay, this. I think that's a yes. Okay, for this one, let, let's do this in spruce, but we need more spruce logs. Can I? Ah, so close. So close. 
Buster, consider yourself noticed. Blobcano, welcome to the stream as well. Jetstar, welcome. I see Bamlo. I hope you guys are doing good. Everybody else who just joined or has been here for a little bit, but I uh, haven't been able to spot your name in chat. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are doing good. Did you know that on Twitch you have to redeem your donations? Donations, yes. Bits, no. So it depends what kind of donation it is. That whole story of uh, Tubbo and Tommy finding our donations was crazy. Bernadette, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. It's good to see you. And I appreciate the support. Alright, let's... um. Yeah, I think we need to do this. Even if we don't connect it to anything, it just makes sense for visual balance. Still level 69? Always. Oh, I promised that I was going to get to 70. You know what? I'll, I'll go uh, I'll go and get some villager trades just to, to showcase what happens. Okay, so I think these go over here. And then this needs to go this way so all the... Um, Fibers in the wood run in the right direction. Can I connect the tower to the castle with the bridge? I could, but I don't think I want to. I, I did think about it. Because it would make sense. Bernadette, thank you for the three pounds. Appreciate it. Let me uh, grab your name and put it in this book as a small thank you. Those books have the, their name, uh, the, the date on it. Of the stream that they uh, they occurred. And they all go to the Hall of Fame. Which is in the forest a little bit that way. In between where we are right now in the starter house. And by the time we get chiseled bookshelves. We're going to be able to make it into a proper library. <laughs> Level 70 you <laughs> why? Exactly. Alright, that works. Let's put this over here. And then here we have the uh, question of how this runs. This isn't symmetrical. Because this snow block is here and then we don't have that on the other side. Wait, it actually happens. Hang on. Are those spruce pillars? Completely different on this side from the other side. Oh my god, that, that's that's awful. Um, I think I think these are wrong and they need to go here. And the same on the other side. It actually makes more sense because it disconnects it from that entrance and it looks better. A little bit of spacing there. Okay, yeah, that's better. Um, and then all of a sudden it looks good as well. Fix it! Yes. <laughs> always, always fix issues like that. Oh, there's a thumbnail again. Alright, we need the diorite back. If night comes around, guys, I will... Uh, I'll go get level 70 so we can fix it again and you guys know how that works. I think we built this one as well. We might end up taking some of these pieces out. But that's a worry for later. Alright, Stooptail Games, welcome to the stream. Ice spikes? Yeah, I'll definitely put ice spikes on the bottom. I already have the ice in my inventory even. It's right here. Okay, I think we put this over here as well. It's basically the same structure on the other side. You watch Whip? Whip was awesome. I love that guy. Not just for the builds, he's also just a great dude, but his his builds, is cr they're crazy. 
one of the best in the game uh, when it comes to texturing. Okay, that works so far. I like this. I like this. And then that basically has the same shape around this way. Looney fix the level. We're still in 69, so we're still good. But nighttime is coming around, so you're going to get your uh, your level fix that you want to see. There's no inside? No inside to what? Okay, that all works. Quick stream getting to six, uh, getting to 420. I don't want to get to 420. It's gonna waste so much time long run getting back to our level. If we get to 4 420, hang out there. It's not the way. Okay, this, this is looking fine. I really, really like the uh, the white block palette texture uh, because it gives you so much room to play with other colors. Oh, imagine we still did the name tags, Eric. That that would be insane. Okay, guys, nighttime is upon us. Let me uh, let me show you what happens to the levels uh, usually. <laughs> this movie is a scam. No, it's not. You're a scam. <laughs> okay, let me fly down here. Quick check if uh, this thing is broken again. It breaks when we fly out of the chunk, but it's luckily really easy to fix. Uh oh, nope. now, now I have to uh, now I have to make sure I actually fix it. Otherwise, I'm gonna look really dumb. Oh, there we go. All right, we don't want to turn that off when we leave the area because it needs to be running as much as possible. It's just unloading while it's flying, which most of the time is not flying. Breaks it, but then that's also why I left the uh, the top bit open, so we can easily fix that one if we have to. I promise levels. Let's go do this. If Whips builds, there's no inside. That's actually fine. That's fine. It's just a choice because realistically, how much time do you spend inside of builds? If that means you get to build more outside builds and your whole area starts looking better because of it, I think that's a, that's a fair choice. Okay, so guys, if we ever get to level 70 or, or above, which actually does happen, solutions are simple, but let's, uh, let's get some emeralds while we're at it. Building looks like a windmill. We actually built a windmill a little while ago. I'll, I'll fly past that on the way back. Guys, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm uh, releasing a four-day mini-series on my second channel that launched today with the first upload. It's uh, the Halloween series that we did. First video was out today. Tomorrow, same time, we're going to release another one. And one more the day after that. And one more the day after that. And then we'll have a 100-day video on the entire thing on the main channel. Spazino Tvo 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 <laughs> It's a guessing game. Thank you very much for the six euros. Looney wanted to say that I've loved the content from the beginning of your first season. Love from the Netherlands. All the love to you, my friend. Dude, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Did I get all the pumpkin traits? I did not. I got distracted at some point. Or Oh my god, I misclicked. I have a bunch of cookies now. That's only the second time that happened. <laughs> well, that was all the emeralds we just got. Okay, these guys are out of trades. Ew, fix the levels. Exactly, Firestar. You got it. Levels need to be fixed. So, guys, there's two ways we can do this. Either we name two rockets, and then we're good. Or we quickly fly to the starter house, and that's what I do most of the time. Because a lot of the time, it will be uh, it will be more than 
the one level. Eat the cookies? No, I don't want to eat the cookies. There's a windmill. Thank you for another 250. By the way, it's pronounced as Spagino. Spagino? TVO? I think, I think I got it at that time. Spagino TVO. Got it, dude. Thank you very much for the support. Okay, so... We'll grab a random book. Enchant that with a random thing. Disenchant that. And we're back to 69. So that, that's how life works if you're a lunatic. Full screen. Thank you very much, Firestar. I appreciate it. Cancel for that? No. 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 Whoa! Why do I only see this now? Guys, this mountain is asking for a build, isn't it? I've flown past this spot so many times. And only now I see it. Gotta correct now. Dude, thank you for another 12 euros. That's crazy. I appreciate it very much. And I got it. Yes. <laughs> Sabrina, yes, a mountain. It's, it's a viable word. People call things mountains all the time. Especially when they're like this, like a mountain. It did ask for a build, didn't it? Well, not, not anytime soon. We got to focus up. Leo heading out to school. Have a good day, dude. Thank you for tuning in. All right. So I just dumped a lot of stuff here that I actually needed. Building break. <laughs> this is the ice cave, guys. This area here. And we can actually get... Out of the mountain right around here, I think. Solid flying. Very very happy with my performance there. That was good. Um, alright. More diorites, polish diorites, calcite, and we're good to go. Now let's see. Oh my god, dudes. Spachino with another 12. You can now get three nine McNuggets large menus. I'm just going to take good care of myself and not eat all that. <laughs> Dude, thank you very much for the support. That's crazy. You didn't have to do that. It means a lot. Okay, we're going to leave that snow layer open. Should start a whole nether build on that mountain. It has that vibe because of the crystal there. I think this is going to be a square. so dark outside it's, it's crazy it looks like it's midnight and well it, it's not it's like 7 30 p.m okay i think this works floor looks plain it does, it does, but everything looks plain right now. We're just doing the foundation for it. Oh my god. Thank you for another six. I don't have to, but I like you. So I'm giving back the joy you gave me over two years of time. <laughs> the words mean as much, if not more, than the donos. That's crazy, dude. Thank you very much. I, I really, really appreciate it. That's, that's, that's beautifully said as well. I think that's what every, every... Everybody making content... Aspires to do in the end. Since we changed time last week, it's been so dark. I actually didn't really notice because I um, was editing a lot. And then time kind of just flies. Not spoon rip. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, what do we do here? I think we just go up like that. Bring those back down. Now, one good thing that's going to happen is we're going to start 
or we're gonna stop having those spawnable spots on the inside, but the outside is, um, basically we're setting it up for creeper rain. Somebody should Minecraft cover that, that, um, Prince song. Oh my god, dude. It's like 50 bucks! Spachino, dude, thank you for another 12! Actually crazy, I'm, I'm out of words. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture, man. Okay, that works. Concrete for more contrast. I, I'm i uh, purposefully uh, keeping it rather plain in terms of contrast, because if we keep it relatively plain, what happens is we get so much design control once we start adding in the highlights and the, and the contrast and the details. So for now, I just want to get the shape right and keep things simple. Already, I like the shape. You <laughs> know, paying rent, fact. Okay, that works. Also, let, let me turn around and pause. Uh. Oh no, no, no! I hate what happened. F3 and escape is how you pause it. And then, um, if you only hit the F3, that happens. So, what happens here is we have a lot of open space here in the middle, um, waiting for some sort of detailing. So, that, that's kind of cool. Illogical Gamer, thank you for the $1 as well. Much appreciated. Let me uh, put you in the book. Illogical Gamer, there you go. Thank you very much. Tata, this is your first time on the channel? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Okay, guys. Now, next step for the design is a tricky one. Because... Dude! <laughs> Castle looks sick. Maybe you can rent one IRL with the dodos. I might just be able, man. Thank you for another 12. I want to start thinking about the towers for this one. Let's, let's do that first. Tips of the towers. Have you filled NNN yet? What is that? I'm on the wrong level of the castle. I need to be here. Because there's a lot of deep slate stuff here. Um, let's see. I'm going to leave the basalt here for a second. Uh, we, we're definitely going to use it later. Menor right now. Deep Slate Tiles. How is there no stone cutter here? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Dude, another 12. <laughs> Oops, misinput. That's crazy, man. Thank you very, very, very much. This is, this is one of those moments where it's just uh, Looney.exe has stopped working. <laughs> that, that's what I'm thinking. Exactly. Okay, um, let's grab these. We got the Cobalt Deep Slain Wall. We got... Let's grab Polished as well. Might need tiles. I don't know exactly what we're doing here. Um, might be that, although I'm not quite sure. L let's try it. Let's try it. What happens if we do this? Oh, that can definitely work. Zorange, welcome to the stream. Never been on stream, so don't know how to do things like <laughs> donate. That's not that you don't you don't have to. Don't worry about it. You guys being here watching the stream, all the support. 
I can ask for all the support I need. You don't have to donate. Donate. I like the idea. Maybe we can make something out of this. It looks a little bit... Uh, how do you add depth to builds? Mysterious guy, anything that is smaller than a full block is your best friend. Um, What if we put these here? Wait, 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 wait. Did I? Come in, dude. Sorry, I missed your dono, man. Thank you for the two dollars. Much appreciated. Hey, Looney, what is the lore behind the castle? I, I have some ideas. I'm um, I'm writing them out, but I'm not ready to uh, to share just yet. It's, it's still taking shape. I always have to check every letter that I think is a double one in your name is a double one in your name. Dude, thank you very much for the two dollars. And then Spachino with another one. Rose are red, violets are blue. I'm emptying my bank account because of the great content of you. <laughs> Stop emptying your bank account. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, th this um, this situation here, the building wise, is a tricky one. I think. For starters, we're going to need full blocks, not slabs. Illogical Gamer with another two as well. How much to get stream mod? Things like that are never and should never ever <laughs> be for sale. Um, we occasionally open up uh, mod applications, in which case you get to send the application. And it's actually a, a weird thing because we get so many that we can't really even reply to everybody. Um, if I do open that up, I will always pin it on the streams for the days that it's open. And I'll also uh, let it know through community uh, posts. So keep an eye out for that. Bacon life with $7 as well. Guys, you're, you're crazy, all of you. Bacon, thank you very much. Looney. <laughs> so we don't technically do shout outs, but you will get a thank you. I appreciate the support, man. Okay, I need to uh, go back down and figure out how we give this... A little bit of a more pointy feel and I'm, I think it might be it might be that we're still gonna have to uh, add the main tower to it of course like underneath that can work that can work am I gonna hide a story in my world like season one if I was doing that do, do you think I would tell Pacino with another 12, dude. Roses are red, violets are blue. I like to give money to you. Dude, it, it's so appreciated. Please over don't overdo it. This this is this is madness. Get yourself something cool, but thank you very, very, very much for the gesture. It, it means it means a lot. Dude, that's crazy. I think we need one more here and then it might just work. Although, maybe it could be better if we do this. Oh yeah, that works much better. I had no idea how this tower was going to look before we started building it. Yo, watch the movie. It was great. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Glad you enjoyed it. Okay, that looks really, really nice. I like that. It looks like it ends a little bit abruptly at the bottom. Um, but that might be something that automatically fixes when we start building the rest of the tower around it. For now, just uh, let's wait and see. And do the next one. Panda Gamer heading out. Gonna watch TV with your mom. Have a good one. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. I 
think this works. If this touch nowhere, that would be great. Don't like the background? Love to hear it. I'm, I'm so happy with that neon sign. Spachino, dude. This was my last dono of the night. Unfortunately, Dutch is <laughs> at my door. See you on the dono screen again. Dude, absolutely crazy. Thank, thank you for being just certified <laughs> insane. I appreciate the support, man. It means a lot. Okay, then I think... This is much easier the second time. Those are too high. <laughs> that was too high, and then the last walls are three. Yeah, I think we can make this work. And then I think the sides were one and the... Yeah. The corners were one, the sides were two. Okay, that one is tricky because it connects to that tower over there. Means we might want to move this one out to the side by one. I think we have to do that. And we'll do something in between to make it look right. But I think this is going to be better if we move it out to the side. Okay, let's see. So then that becomes the center block. And we go off of that one. <laughs> with the 35 South Africa red. This is fire you're good at building and it is 8.43 at night here. Can I make a chicken? <laughs> I cannot I cannot make a chicken <laughs> because um, we, we have a bit of a rule uh, for, for building requests. The projects I work on, they're, they're so big and they take forever. So if we take a request during stream, I don't think we're ever going to get anything done ever again. Um, therefore, we don't. I will, I will, um, find a chicken for you. Give me, give me a minute though. Yonlu, thank you for the two euros as well. <laughs> what do you do with a bag of peanuts in November? Those are, those are not going to spoil. You're going to be fine. Just keep them around. You have nothing to worry about. Dude, thank you very much for the Two dollars or two euros again. I appreciate it. John Lu, why? That's a fair question, Fire. Firestar asking the important questions as always. Okay, we're about to be knocked off by phantoms. Okay, that's one. Kara, being French, you're never able to catch any streams except mine. Since we're in the same time zone. Glad you get to make these ones. Um, alright. No, we're definitely gonna have to keep that. Hang on. Let's have that with another 14. Not checking donos. I am, right? Yeah, I am. And I also, I put your, uh, your name in the book already as a small thank you. I will, I will go hunt a chicken for you. But we can't, we can't build one, unfortunately. Um, I think we go... This might be the right level. Let's, let's build it here. Oh, I also need more walls. So let's get that chicken first. Is that a chicken? No, it's four skeletons. Pretending to be a chicken. That's just fall. We got a chicken here. <laughs> That's the most chicken I think I can do. I really want to get rid of these um, emerald blocks. They're bugging me. Let's fly into the mantle for a sec. All streamers from other time zones always stream at ridiculous times. 
Isn't that just how time zones work? That has nothing to do with the streamers. Um, I don't really need anything else from here, but extra rockets can't hurt right now. Was that chicken percent? Yes, <laughs> it was chicken percent. I just found out that we can use this exit here. Well, in, in theory, if I aim a little bit better, we could use that exit. Means <laughs> I can't watch them. Well, yeah, fair. <laughs> Doesn't make them ridiculous. Okay, let's see. We need um, more deep plate walls. Actually, don't really need these. Okay. Spooner insisted. One in the corner, two on the sides, like before. Oh my god! We're being shot with a flame bow, that's no joke. Those hurt. Yanlu with another two. Firestar asks for grass percent. Let me get it. Missed the bunch, but there you go. Grass percent. Thank you for another two euros. Get notification switch from American streamers. <laughs> it is ridiculous. <laughs> it's just time zones, guys. I, I have uh, I want to do a yearly petition to abolish time zones not because not because of all the obvious reasons um, but it's actually like it's just problematic and the thing that's wrong with time zones is they don't change at the same time so twice a year for a week Europe and the United States are off sync time zone wise and it just doesn't make any sense Usually, I am two hours away from uh, from United Kingdom. And then all of a sudden now, it's one hour. Why? Why does that change? It should, <laughs> should remain the same, right? And mind you, United Kingdom is not far away from me. So United Kingdom and the US, they, they change at different times in Europe. Or Europe changes at different times. I don't know. Either way, it gets very confusing. It doesn't make sense. Infinity Shadow, thank you very much for another five. Eluni getting up nice and early at 5.30 a.m. That's crazy. That is crazy. Birds making constant noise. That, that's a nice way to wake up, though. That's cool. I'm doing uh, I'm doing real good. Uh, I, I've really, really enjoyed the Halloween challenge that we did over the last few days. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I uh, survived 100 days in a single chunk. But because that wasn't miserable enough, I also had a Curse of Binding pumpkin on my head the entire time. That made for a very fun mini-series for Halloween. And um, it's going to end up as a 100-day series on the channel. But if you want to watch it already, it's on my second channel, which is in the pinned message. And it's going to be a video every day for the next three days, including today, four days. Go ahead and check it out if, if you're interested. Okay, if we do this, it's going to connect up to that one right there. So I think this one should be the center block. Means we can extend from here. Stop hunting me. I'm just trying to build a tower here. Leave me alone. Is there still... There's still a phantom alive. Do I like baguettes? This feels like a trick, but if you're... If you're talking about the bread, then yes. Okay, let me see. I think we're going to build another one there. Yeah, that should work. 
Netherlands and UK are only one hour today. Well, right now they're one hour away. And then next week it's two hours again. Which does not make sense. Oh wait, this needed to be two. Lucarius, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. I'm doing well. How about you? Let's see. Am I am I tilted about am I tilted about time zones for no reason? Have I got it wrong? Um Oh, no, this, this is actually true. It's uh, Greenwich Mean Time, which varies. Bernadette with a 20 pound dono. Thank you very much. Movie was awesome. Officially, you, Bruno, and Pixel Rips are my favorite Minecraft streamers. That That's not a bad list to be a part of. That's quite a compliment. I, I love Bruno as well. Pixel, Pixel Rips is just a classic for me. Super chill. Bruno, Bruno is something else. Bruno has that... I, I don't have any other word to describe it as Bruno energy. Bruno has that Bruno energy, which makes a little sense because, well, yeah, Bruno, but... I think I'm going to add one more for the extra goofiness. The thing is... Where do we have to center that for it to work? <laughs> Gray and Black, welcome to the stream. There's only one way to get better. Whatever you want to get better at, do it more. Okay, we could add one here. I don't know if that's worth it. Here on this corner, we... Uh, snowman percent? <laughs> I can't do a snowman percent. <laughs> Make a snowman? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's not. It's not happening. It's not happening. I will. I was. I will say hi to uh, to Chatterson, but we're not making new snowman right now. I can't ju just go making snowman willy nilly. I have a pretty bad rap with the snowman. I have to. Uh, I have to be on my best behavior now. Thank you for another two. I appreciate it. Lava percent? No, dude. I'm just gonna say hi to Chatterson. Oh no! Welcome to the stream. Whoop. We'll just wave wave at him from the top. Oh my god, there's not even... I really have to build this interior. This doesn't make sense. Hello, snowman. We see you. Okay, bye. It is the nunchuck song, Nina. It is. You are totally right. I don't like this mountain, guys, here with the sandstone. I think this, this one's ridiculous. I don't know why it exists. It's an eyesore. We might have to take it down eventually. Dog percent? No, I'm not doing anything percent. <laughs> no way. We have a tower to build, guys. Focus up. Why do I keep making builds that I can't jump out of? That's a fair question. It's a very fair question. I just I just think about whether it looks good first. And then it does become a safety hazard. Okay, I have to decide on the extra tower, yes or no. It would look really cool. But I think the one I have in mind is too far out. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. it. It's crazy. But I like crazy. Let's do this. Alright. Let's do this. Sure thing, Eric. Dude, thank you for the help. Appreciate it. 
Okay, um, if we build it here, that works. If we build it on this center, it doesn't. If we build it on this center, it does. So basically, I have a choice. I can go there. Do I have more snow somewhere? I do. Oh, no, that's... Why do I have snow layers? I'm out of snow blocks. Let me fly to the house real quick. Either one of those would be good. <laughs> Gray black, I have no reason to say that. <laughs> welcome to the stream though. Casca is welcome to the stream as well. Do I have the caves and cliffs advancement? I don't know. Uh... Let's see. I don't think so, probably. There's a lot of them that I still need. Where is the Caves and Cliffs? It's not hidden, right? This is not here. It's not there, of course. Not there. I have adventuring time. That's okay. Star Trader. Still need bullseye. There's so many that we still need to get, guys. I haven't even looked at a at a parrot and a gas. Curious cocktail. Oh shiny. I have it. When did we do that? Not quite. Oh, of course. Yeah, we did. We did it over at the uh, at the mountain. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. All right. Let's see. This all is ice, here's snow blocks. Uh, I don't need snow layers right now, so we're gonna leave those here. Gray, black, I also don't, I don't know. Are, are you, are you cool? Are you cool? Just prove it first. Then I'm definitely willing. Ask Kelly, you miss the old world? I think all of us do at least a little bit, but I'm also really loving the new world. Aiden, first time you see my face? Welcome, dude. Nice to meet. Oh, uh, this is one of those landings where you can pop a totem. Didn't look fast, but then it turns out to be slightly, slightly too quick. Enderboy, what are we doing right now? We're working on the, a castle. Or, well, a, a tower next to the castle. So I have a choice, guys. Do I go here or do I go here? I think... We need to go this one. Let's see. This one is... Is it a unique height? It is a unique height, but I think we need to go one lower. Oh, I need more deep slate. The statistics for our survive exactly 21 days. A little bit drastic flying here, but it worked. Oh, I don't have deep slate. Uh, let me go by the house real quick. Old world was one of the best hardcore worlds you've ever seen. That's quite the compliment. I think we're going to do better in this one. I'm quite sure. Campfire smoke tower? Sometimes. Sometimes I use that. Campfires and smoke are really cool. <laughs> Great black, thank you. Alright, let's see. Um, oh my god, my inventory is an absolute mess. <clears throat> Still, it looks like I'm not carrying anything that I really don't need, which is dumb. Let's leave this snow here right now, and then we need more deep slate. There's a bunch of accidental deep slate that I mined with a uh, silk touch pick, which is not very useful. Uh, I think I needed these. Okay, there we go. Next project after the castle. So I, I want to make this entire area feel very much alive. 
So what that includes is uh, we're slowly building up a little village here. I don't know if it's really going to be a village, but I think we'll we'll slowly start adding uh, struct or keep adding structures to it. And then in here, we're going to build all the farms for the entire world. This is the biggest underground space I've ever seen, I think. But this is where all the farms go. It is also a place that later is going to be decorated. So uh, we have basically we have a mega base on top of a mega base. So we're going to have to build two of them. Make some huge fields. I really like the way that looks. So there's a good chance that we will. Looneyville 2.0. One thing that is different from Looneyville is that we have all the space in the world here. There we were limited to the letter frames, which was really cool, but also really tricky design-wise. Here we can do everything we want. Baseception, exactly. You got it. Please tell me that I'm not out of these. Yes, got it. Okay, I like that a lot. Now we need to make sure that that tower actually supports it. Which isn't all that hard, actually. So we're just going to remove this support. It's easy to fix as long as it's still temporary blocks. Which is why we do all the snow building first. So these supports originate from these blocks. And... We have a choice on whether we keep that principle or we don't. I think this is going to work a little bit better if we move them out to the side on this uh, on this spot. So that would mean that the supports are going to originate here. Probably also means they're going to be a different material than the other side. Why don't I add a new house every video? We might, we might. Oh, this is easy. We're going to be able to get there with this, uh, this shape. Um, now, I think it will look cooler if we go out one higher on the outside, which we make it this. That is easily does it. That immediately works. This shape here is going to continue that curve. Uh, but let's do the one on the bottom first. I want to have some sort of symmetry to make the chaos work out. So it means this goes here. You see me walking around the corners quite quite a lot to make sure that I don't accidentally chop something uh, that I don't want to because that's the easiest way to lose track. <laughs> when you only came to Shazam Blue's music, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, my Cody. Oh, we got a, a girlfriend discussion going. No, I'm, I'm single. I'm not in a rush to uh, to find a relationship. Also, I'm not against it. It mostly depends whether you uh, run into something, somebody uh, you really like. Um, I think this just gets filled up. Yeah, that makes sense. It 
It has that goofy shape, but it has all the all the um, right amounts of goofy shape. I have no doubt whether we're going to be able to make this work. I think this is going to be uh, pretty cool. Probably something like this. Remove that area there. And then I think... That's what I said with the... Uh, oh no. I didn't accidentally. Well, I want to fill those in anyway. I think that definitely works. And then here we have an interesting shape on the side where we might be able to do something with that. That tower is so cool, I like this. Season 1 vibe so hard. I feel like, guys, this is actually a thing. Um, Lucario said that. I think this is a thing. I, I think we're getting to the point with this world where the streams are going to start feeling like they used to. Uh, just because we have have more context in terms of the world around it, which is, is going to make everything more enjoyable, more straightforward. It's a new vibe. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. I'm I'm uh, I feel like we're in a really good good place right now. World wise, content wise, also energy and vibe wise. I think I think it's good. Okay, that's that's perfect. I don't think we have to uh, mess with that anymore. I think it's time to start building up. What is... We still have something here? Could we use this one as another center? We could. So if we want to... I'm not saying we should. But we could make one more tower here. And I think that finishes it up. Yeah, I think we built one more tower. Spoon, not another tower? I think it is exactly what it needs to balance it out. <laughs> tower! <laughs> let's try it, let's try it. It kind of, it fit itself in there. I wasn't even planning to do it. So if it fits itself in, it's always right. Here's a basalt. Guys, I think, I think I'm running out of deep slate. I think I'm going to have to do mining in between streams. Reminds me how mushrooms grow IRL. That that makes a lot of sense. I, I can definitely see that. Kira, Looney World Tour. Um, we're uh, we're actually on the way to the starter house. So you're kind of getting a world tour naturally. Water break. Good point. Okay, let me check. But I think we're running out of deep slate. We don't need a lot right now, so I'll just take whatever we have. All of this is not not cobalt, so um, I'll even grab these extra walls. I'm quite sure we have everything else. But we're gonna run out of the wall, so I use a, a few cobalt. Oh. Kira, for the rest of the world tour, so we have the starter house down there. That's where I, uh, where I started, where we got all the first essential setup. Then there's a pathway that goes all the way around here called the Mangrove Trail. Goes to a little village that is starting to form over here. I never planned for a village to to start forming over here. I just put the crop fields and from there it started developing. And then over this way, we have a mountain built up on top of what usually or what used to be a swamp. Uh, that doesn't exist anymore because we bombed it away. That area now is a perimeter hidden under the build. That's where all the farms go. And we will decorate all of this later. And then if we fly out this way. Well, if we actually get to fly out there, uh, we get back to where we're building today. And then there's a castle up on top of that, which has some interior. But we'll uh, get to that later because right now we got some building to do. 
Okay, so let's see. I think that should do it. Um, hang on, that. Let's do this. That's a single in the corner. That one's gonna connect over there, but I really don't mind because the angle you don't see. Phantom coming in hot. I think we got it shape wise. Farmar, welcome to the stream. Socialist, welcome to the stream as well. I hope you're doing good. Okay, then let's uh, work with this roof line. This is the center block for that one. Are we out of snow or do we have some more? We have some more. Not quite it. Will I do a Christmas special video? I think for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be very hardcore world focused. Okay, I'm not too happy with this line just yet. What if we make this a two step? We have a one step here. Now the line is actually pretty good, except for that ridiculous thing that I just added. Not quite it. This is uh this is a tricky one. So I liked it up until there. That gets really, really close.
That will definitely do it. That will definitely do it. Kira, I gotta go soon, but I'm curious to know what happens in Deep Slate Emerald Ore. Um, let me show you. Let me show you. It's uh, it's in the only place where it makes sense. Quick Elytra check while I'm flying. Yes. Okay. Then I can pour myself a glass of water. Anthony, thoughts on sideways slabs? <laughs> it's a co controversial topic, right? I don't think we need them. Uh, and I kind of like that there's restrictions to building. The um, Emerald Deep Slate Ore, we found two of them so far. And they're uh, they're in here. With a Curse of Binding book, I love that. Found that one as well, somewhere. We can make a Christmas tree. We might We might have to do that. Oh, this is going to help so much, just building on the side. I think we, we have the shape. Let's replicate that roof shape on the other side. I like the shape a lot. I'm quite sure there's going to be some sort of a roof coming out of a different uh, angle as well. But for now, this is good. Um, I think it would be good to start with actually building that roof. And that begs the question. What color are we going for? Oh. Oh my god, that was scary. I made a, I made a screenshot and everything froze. I didn't want to make a screenshot. So it's like, why is everything freezing? Okay, game paused. I'm leaning. I'm leaning Prismarine. To uh, go with these details over here. The question is. Whether that makes it too. Heavy. I think what we have to do, guys, is we have to uh, quickly dip to the creative world. And figure out how we're going to do that. Before we go to the creative world though. I am. Um, I, I need to go to the toilet real quick. So what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to run this break screen for you. Uh, there's not going to be a timer on there. Because I'm going to be back for a minute. Uh, or back in a minute. Uh, this is uh, the story of how this world came to be. Up until day 1000. In a 10 minute edit that you're not going to see. Because I'll be back in 2 minutes. Please stick around. I'll be back before you know it. All right, guys, I made it back. Let's get back into the world. Um, before we do that, though, I said we need a uh, we need to do some research. I want to figure out what blocks we're going to use for this roof. So I'm going to land on there and then we're uh, 
quickly want to uh, we're gonna go to the creative world to test the palette bombi welcome to the stream dude how are you doing that scene in the end was crazy anthony it was wild mog swamp does have a really cool world okay um looney's playground let's go So we're looking for a roof pellet in, I think, greens. This might work. This might work. This might work. I really don't need slabs here. Hang on. I think these are my colors, basically. Let's see, we need this as well. I think the roof shape was this. Warp wood. I really like the prismarina and dark prismarina as well, so we might be we might end up using that. What are we making? We're figuring out the roof for the castle that we're or the, the tower at the castle that we're currently working on. Okay, for general vibe, that could work. It does look a little bit, um, it's qu quite a rigid pattern if we do that. What happens if we decide to put patches of that in there? That could actually work. So then we're free to do something like this. Okay, I don't like that color, so we can rule that one out. That all kind of works together. I actually really like the oxidized copper with the dark prismarine. Maybe we use those two. Warp wood isn't bad in that. Do I read chat? Ovian, I do. Welcome to the stream. I like those together. The only thing is... So what happens if we <laughs> use normal copper in there? Because that's what it's going to look like initially. Since I haven't pre-oxidized it. That's actually not bad either. Um, let's just go with that. 
Wait, what if we... Okay, different thought. What if we make the entire roof out of copper? And copper mixing blocks? So we don't go for the green? Instead, we go for that, that copper uh, U? What goes well with copper? Okay, we could also lean lean orange with it. I'm not opposed to that either. Let's see, maybe that goes in there as well. Not sure about the bricks. They're not terrible, but not great either. What about dripstone? Clearly, there's, there's no stairs from uh, made out of dripstone. The acacia wood actually works really well. The strip logs. Let's try the planks. I think the greens are gonna work better in the color of the build around it though. So both of these are viable. We could go with the copper. Is there anything else that would mix in there? Red sensor might work. What if we uh, don't take the smooth for end of it? Okay, I think we're gonna go for all the greens. Got my mind made up. That does mean that we need to... Um... Oh, I <laughs> rejoined the world. We need to make sure that we get a bunch of copper. So let's prioritize that. And we need to uh, get a bunch of copper oxidized specifically. Guys, if you just do joined, we are looking at what we're going to do for the roof of this building. It actually doesn't need that much copper. I like that it's going to match with this over here. Let's see how much we have. Rise, welcome to the stream. Arthur, welcome to the stream as well. Oxidized copper looks looks awesome. I love it. Let's see if we um, can get a bunch of that. I'm going to put all these blocks that we're using to build right now for that particular build in there. And for starters, I'm going to go around the world and we're going to check how much copper we actually have. You know what? While I'm going to the starter house, let me take the chorus fruit out of here. Amazing how much this has changed over time. It's starting to be an actual world, right? Chweta, welcome to the stream. Mr. Bros are welcome as well. I do believe we have some copper left. Here's raw copper ore. Okay, I think... Here's the question, guys. I think we have enough copper for sure to make what we want to make. It's going to oxidize way faster if we just do that. Like, put it put it all down somewhere in one big patch uh, so it starts oxidizing. So I think we're going to do that. But as we're doing that, it might be worth it to go out and get a bunch more. So is this the moment where we go out on a trip to find a copper vein? I think it is. I think it is. Because otherwise we're going to run into this uh, this obstacle a little while from now. Flower pots really don't belong in that chest. 
So I think we need to go on a little mining trip. I It's not that hard to find one. Ghastly, that is awesome. Congratulations on the first 50 days. Keep at it. And I love to hear it. Alright, let's put everything that we're not going to need for this trip over here. You know what? I want a different chest for that. One that's dedicated to that and only that. So we definitely need this. Uh, we're gonna take some torches because that's gonna help. Fire rockets come. Don't need that. Don't need that. This goes in here. There's the torches we need. And then we can leave that one behind as well. We can leave the ice. We're gonna take this. And then we're gonna take like... Four or five shulkers? Five shulkers, then we need a beacon. So we're gonna grab that and we need a beacon pyramid. And then we're on a little adventure. We need to find a copper vein. Now, there could be one underground. Copper vein in spawn cave. Copper veins are really easy to find. So let's see where the beacon is. We have one here. Where's my other beacon? We had one here. I think we had one in the top of the tower, but maybe... Or in the castle. No, we took that one down. There we go, we got one here. Let me get some more emerald blocks. Woodless, welcome to the stream. Jojo, welcome to the stream. Laobao, <laughs> <laughs> yes we are. <laughs> Bill, dude! Thank you for another five. Crazy as ever. Sorry I'm late. Hope you're doing well. Really enjoyed episode one of the mini series. I saw your comments. Thanks, dude. I'm I'm happy with how it turned out. It was a enjoyable little thing. Um, now, guys, there might be a copper vein just here. So before we go out on that mission, let's actually check. Okay, that's not a copper vein, but there's a lot of copper here. Let's start with that. Yeah, the piglin did kill me. Is a brute that one? Not a piglin brute, just just a general brute. I have a feeling there's a lot of copper to be found. Hang on, we might not have to do this. I probably already mined a ton of copper. Silk Touch? No, then we have to mine it twice. Annie Thomas, good to see you. Hope you've been well. Or as I do, I think that everybody should be uh, encouraged and supported to be themselves. And love who they want to love. If you need to mine a big hole, do you keep all the blocks? I end up using every type of building material, so I try to keep it. I just put it in shulkers for later. Flora is welcome to the stream. Whoa, whoa, welcome to the stream as well. I may have 
brutally mispronounced your name there. With the best intentions, though. Oh, we're gonna be fine. We really don't have to uh, go and get a copper vein. What are we working on? We're working on a tower just outside of the castle. If you stick around for a minute, I'm uh, gonna show you. It, it actually looks super cool. One of my favorite additions that we recently made. Bella, please keep the chat in English. What shaders and texture packs do I use? A uh, shader is called complementary shader and there's no texture pack. Dark Fox, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Make them into raw copper blocks, take less space. I know, I, I just don't have a crafting table here and I have plenty of, um, of sugar boxes. So I'll just carry them for now. Normally I, I do uh, make them into raw copper. I didn't come properly prepared. That's my bad. Mira, what religion religion am I? I'm uh, not religious, but I don't think in the end that should matter too much uh, because regardless of what you believe we should just be good people to each other and that makes the world a, lo a better place and I think in that regard mostly everybody agrees it's just how uh, good or bad of a job we do okay I think that is most of the copper for here and it might be all the copper we need. Now I know there's a really big cave over here, so let's just check that out. I'm so glad that this spawn proofing is working. I don't know if Deep Slate is worth it right now with the copper. Uh, still pretty quick. Weird name, welcome to the stream. I think we're going questing here no reason to have any light on underground there's diamonds there how did I miss those Not the best flying you'll ever see. I don't think there's copper here though. I think we're just gonna get out of here, smelt the copper that we have. I hope this is the exit. Why do I need copper for a roof? But we want to use oxidized copper and it oxidizes way faster if you put a, a bunch of it together. So we're trying to get some more before we start it. I feel like I'm lost in the cave, guys. I'm just gonna try and get up as high as possible and then I think I'll, I'll just dig straight up. Let's just do it.
Popper doesn't usually spawn in Deep Slate. I, I thought it was a um, it was a cave that existed above Deep Slate level, but we got it all wrong. Uh, let's get that there. Ziv, welcome to the stream, by the way. Yo, welcome to the stream as well. Good to see you. My bad me breaking some rules here. Always. I'm just a rebel. Did I miss diamonds mining up? Or in the cave? That's fine. We don't really need the diamonds. I'm collecting them for uh, building blocks for later. Mabel, welcome to the stream. Gamelands, welcome to the stream as well. Copper also oxidized the fast when you're putting them four blocks away of each other in a grid. Away from each other? I thought they had to be connected together for uh, oxidization to occur. Or, well, th then it starts spreading, right? Isn't that the case? I'm surprised we haven't hit a gravel patch yet. Bacon advice for small streamers. Uh, just have fun with it. And try to, uh, try to find feedback. Try to ask people what they like and what they don't like. And if you can get honest feedback, that's really valuable. From there, it's just, uh, just listen to it. Hmm. Oh my god, a wrong shovel. Oh, I'm so bummed out. I, I need one snow layer there. Where Where is that? You know what? I'll just ignore it. It's fine. Okay, let's um go smelt the snow, the the copper. Kappa, welcome to the stream. I'm doing good. I hope you are too. Did I try 120? I usually don't play in uh, snapshots until the full release comes out. Snow Beast, welcome, dude. Been watching all the XXX days. Nice. I hope you uh hope you enjoyed it. Um, let's see. We got the super smelter here ready. Th this is uh still under construction for the most part, so it's a bit messy. But it will do what we need it to do. Let me see if I can organize this a little better so I can drop all of them. Okay, there's no minecarts on the other side yet, so this should only end up where it's supposed to go. Uh, we got... Let's actually drop a sugar of sand in there as well. Can't hurt to have a little bit of extra glass. Snowbees! Thank you for becoming a loony adventurer channel member. I appreciate it. Let me uh, put you in today's book as a small thank you. Why don't I make a copper farm? That's a, that's a thing, of course. They're mob based though, and I mostly want redstone from this base. Okay, we'll leave all of the rest of the sand here. That's fine. Uh, this shulker is empty. So I'll take it. This one's empty. Empty, empty, empty. Okay, that's all good. Let's just check the output and set it up. Guys, does it matter if we put the uh, copper here or above ground? Smooth sandstone? Uh, 
What happens? If oh, I need that for another build. I was so confused all of a sudden. I was like, what? We have been putting sandstone in there. Okay, let's just stand on here and, and see if this is going well. Looks like we got steady output. There's a lot of other stuff still in the furnaces though. So this is going to take a while. Let's do some villager trades. Myra, no, no worries. No worries. You're all good. No stress. Okay, levels are definitely going to go over 69 here. If you put it above ground, it goes a little faster because it's raining. Okay, I'll put, I'll put it outside. Should be worth it. And now we can also see the progress. Rev 69. <laughs> nice. I've not used an XP farm in so long just because of the villagers giving too much XP. Norris loved the 1000 Day movie. Love to hear it, dude. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, this looks like it was out of range. I feel like it. it's slow. Well, it is slow. Why is it slow? Hang on, I don't have, te have temporary blocks to work with. Something is going wrong with the, the fuel there. I think the main explanation would be that the bamboo is not keeping up. Okay, the bamboo is either not keeping up or it's not being distributed. Let's check that last one. There's no bamboo in there. But then there's bamboo everywhere else. That looks goofy. This is gonna... This is warranting a proper investigation, guys. I'm gonna have to look into this. Do I like this hardcore world more than the old one? Old one was really special. This one's really special as well. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's see how this... I want to check how this funnel's in there. So we got a chest. Spreads it out like that. Which should be an even spread. Well, it, there, it goes into the middle more than it goes into the edges, which is fine. I think it just needs more time to run. Okay, for now, let's uh, let's leave it. Detective Looney must solve the issue, yes. 
But we're not going to do that on stream because it's going to be obnoxious checking of uh, all these things over and over again. Um, let's craft it up and uh, just start our oxidization. To be fair, it's half a super smelter, but it should be doing better than it is. Hello, <laughs> John. Have you behaved? They have fired it. They've been awesome. Balances fix the levels. You're not wrong. Piston really doubled the value of the world. Quadrupled at least. It, everything felt so different because of that piston. Hang on. I'm hungry and I have nothing to eat. I'm, I'm gonna eat steak. Let's just grab all this stuff. Craft the rest of them up. We'll do all the extra blocks later. That's going to be fine. Okay, then we're going to put this somewhere. So guys, if you just go here, uh, this is actually what we've been working on today. We've been building a framework for a crazy little tower that goes on the side of the castle and it goes there for good reason. Oh, the levels? I forgot. I forgot. I'll go back to fix it. Um, we built it for good reason, because we have the pathway here that now runs into this frozen cave, which is kind of cool. Goes through a spiral staircase here, and then out on the bottom. But from there, it needs to go through a building before it continues out on this side. So we needed to build something there. And we've uh, built the framework for this uh, really funky... Tower. I, I like it a lot. I think this is going to be very cool when we have it set up. Right now, though, we need to get this copper oxidized. And I think I'm just going to do it on the mountain side here. There it goes. We already have the rain. The um, reason I'm isolating it from the uh, snow down below is that way we can put torches on there. Which means it's not going to spawn mobs. But it's also not going to melt snow layers right next to it. Cabbage in a cornfield. What a good name. I like that. Looks amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. We put the copper down as soon as possible. We're making a uh, big, big copper patch. Do we have goats on the mountain? Not yet. Not a bad idea, though. How long do you guys reckon this is going to take? Remember to put four blocks between each block? I think I think we're just gonna put a big patch down and then we'll wait it for wait for it to start spreading to each other. I feel like it once it starts gaining critical mass, it escalates quite quickly with a big space. <laughs> Levels, please. <laughs> in a minute. In a minute. Spawnable? I'm aware. I'm aware. How old is my channel? I started in May 2020. So, about two and a half years now. <laughs> the levels? <laughs> Guys, no stress. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so... So much for Operation Oxidization. That actually sounds really good. That has a ring to it. Let, let me fix those levels. Still hate that piglin, don't we all? You know what the worst thing is about that piglin? After he killed me... He just took the... Uh, 
He just took the elytra and the shield and he, he just stood there with it. Which is just so toxic. So toxic. Alright, let's toss that. Do it on stone sword. Now <laughs> we're just throwing it out. Okay, this is gonna do what it needs to do. As for that building, we're gonna have to work on that ourselves. Phantoms are gonna come and get me, uh, so I'm just gonna pause the game. Guys, I, I gotta call it quits for today because I have to finish up the mini series for the Halloween. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I have a second channel now, and there is uh, currently a first video out today. Over the next three days, there's gonna be a video every day for four videos total. And then that entire series is gonna go on the main channel as a 100 day series. For right now, guys, I want to th uh, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I'm going to finish it up. I'm going to hit the gym and I'm going to do a lot more Minecraft tonight. And then uh, I'll be back with you guys on Saturday for sure. Um, I don't know how tomorrow is going to gonna go. I have a lot of things planned for tomorrow, but I might sneak a little extra stream in there. Uh, no guarantees, but if that happens, you will see it on Twitter at Loopy Looney. For right now, guys, I want to thank you very much for being here. Uh, and today, now, I, I need to get back to you. I will send you a message because, yes, I do see the whispers. Apologies for uh, forgetting to reply before. Um, guys, thank you for being here today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you guys soon for right now. Thank you guys for watching. And until we meet again, Looney, out.